Around November, when the time changed here in the uh, east coast of the United States, I started to feel terrible. And terrible, like very hard to describe. I would get these headaches and feel buzzy and weird, but I'd also feel just dread. And I couldn't figure out when around like four o'clock, when, uh, when the sun was going down, but I didn't connect it to that at the time. But as soon as this would start to go down, I would feel this terror and this claustrophobia inside my body. And I didn't know what it was. All I knew is I thought I was, this was it. Like I was gonna die or something because I couldn't tell why everything was getting so much worse. And finally, through some conversations with people and learning stuff and looking around and living, I realized that I was suffering from light deprivation. And one of the ways that I knew that is that I had one of these things, mm, full spectrum light bulb. And I remember the first time that I turned that thing on and I felt like I was drinking. Do you know that feeling when you're really thirsty? You've been outside and you are just like drinking in water. I was drinking the light. I never really had sunlight issues before. I remember other people talking about it being rainy for days and them feeling down, but I, I had other reasons to be depressed. It was, the sun thing didn't really get to me, but for whatever reason, it started to come, and it started to come really hard when the days got short. God, take this away. Get rid of this seasonal depression. It wasn't any fun. Little did I know that I would, through this very weird, unpleasant thing, come to fully understand Fully is a little strong. I would come to understand more this weird idea in Swedenborg. Heaven's son is the Lord. Swedenborg doesn't just once or twice mention this. He has this whole, his book Divine Love and Wisdom is, I don't know, 90% talking about heaven's son is the Lord. And he goes on and on about it. And it just never really resonated that much for me. I get it. It's a bit of a metaphor. God shines down on us with love and wisdom like the sun shines down. But it doesn't really inspire you with this connection and this love for God because the sun's just a, some ball that's way out there somewhere in space. When you need the sun, when you are absolutely desperate for whatever's in that light that does this magic in your brain to make you happy again, suddenly you begin to understand just how wonderful the sun is. I remember sometimes I'd be walking in the morning on what was supposed to be a cloudy day and the sun would peek through the clouds unexpectedly in the morning and I would just look at the way that it sparkled on the grass and I would, could feel it giving me this energy and I could just feel this absolute, not just appreciation for it, but dependency on it. Like I could understand that I needed the sun. The sun was doing so much more for me than making it so I could see things. The sun was giving me life. This is the story of, you remember last week when I was telling you that knowing spiritual concepts doesn't make your depression disappear, but it makes your depression useful? This is the poster child example of that happening in my real life. Because I had this idea, heaven's son is the Lord in my mind, and because I went through this experience that I didn't want of this seasonal depression, I could now understand something about God that I never could have understood without this experience. And it's not something that's that easy to articulate. That the, maybe the deepest truths about God and our relationship to God and our dependency on God are things you almost have to experience. You kind of have to be there. I can get that the physical experience I had of just needing this thing to beam light and heat down to make me happy, I can get, oh, that is happening in my mind. That that's the role God is playing. And it's alive to me in a way that it never would have been before. So before, when it was dark and snowy and cold, and I was just saying, I'm gonna move to Hawaii. You know, not everyone has to put up with this short day thing. What I need to do to be happy is move to somewhere right on the equator where it rains once or twice a century, and then I'll be fine. But having these spiritual concepts made it so that actually this stuff that I think I don't want is giving me this, these spiritual upgrades that I never could have gotten, that it's allowing me to understand these deep things that are such, of such greater value 
than me getting a little more sunshine in any given day. So I don't need to go to Hawaii because I can go to where it's bright and sunny in my mind. But seriously, if I win the lottery, I am moving to Hawaii yesterday freaking day. Oh, yeah, yeah.